have got you there, right? Okay, good morning, boys and girls. We are going to touch on nuclear energy this morning. And uh, before we look at nuclear energy, please let me remind you of something. That physics is actually easier than ABC. All of you want to understand physics, you want to do well in physics. And uh, to do well, you need to do a lot of output revision. Do not just read your books over and over and over again. It does not help you very much. What is useful is doing output revision, understanding the topics, answering questions, writing down, drawing diagrams, doing calculations over and over again as in the rehearsal. In practice, that will help you. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to calculate the nuclear energy in a problem by using E equals to mc square. Let us look at the question. The nuclear reaction of one nucleus of radium 226, it experiences a mass defect of 8.6818 times 10 to the power of minus 27 grams. Calculate the energy released in this nuclear reaction. And you are given the velocity of light as 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. Very simple, isn't it? Okay, let's take a look and see how to solve this problem. Now, even before you start calculating, now this is revision time, remember. So I'm actually teaching you how to revise. You need to write down each symbol and write down the quantity and what unit it is, all right? What its unit is, I mean. So, first and foremost, we write down E equals to mc square because that is the equation that is given on the formula page, all right? So, E equals to mc square, all right? Good. We need to know what E is. It is important during revision time, you write this down. Don't assume that you know and remember. Write it down. E is nuclear energy and write down the units. The units is in joule. Just write down the symbol will do. And what is M? M is the ha. Ah, from Perlis to Sabah, many students think that M is mass. And if you write down it as mass, you would have made a mess of it. It's wrong. It is not mass, but mass defect. You must add the word defect. Otherwise, you can lose your marks in the subjective question. So what is the answer, or rather what is the unit? It is in kilogram. When I write down kilogram, it means that to use this formula, you must have your unit for mass in kilograms, not in any other units. And for mass defect, you know that it is the change in mass or loss in mass after the reaction, after the nuclear reaction. C. What is C? It is the speed or velocity of light. The speed or the velocity of light, the unit is in meter per second. So this is one method of revision which I have taught you before. You write it down again in your revision time. Alright, so now let us look at the question again. 8.6818 times 10 to the power of minus 27 grams. That is the mass defect. It is given in the question. Mass defect. Alright, so now I would write down what is our value of M. Alright, it is 8.6818 times 10 to the power of minus 27 grams. You cannot use this value now and put into the equation. It will be wrong. Why? Look at the units. 
it is in grams. We have to change it to kilograms. All right. So, in other words, the first step is very important. Change it to I'm using another color to emphasize it. It is equal to 8.6818 times 10 to the power of negative 30 kilograms. Okay, so now I have settled on this. I have settled on the speed of light it is given or the velocity of light. Okay, I write it down again. Okay. C is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. Okay, now it is simple. The rest is simple. The rest is mathematics, so to speak. After you know how to use the equation, E equals to mc square. So you need to substitute in the value. What is m? m is 8 point. 6818 times 10 to the power of minus 30 kilogram. All right. Multiplied by speed of light 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. You square it. And as long as you use the correct unit, after you have worked out the equation, the answer will be in Joule. Alright, so this is very important. It looks very simple, isn't it? As long as you don't make any careless mistakes. So after you have calculated this, make sure that everything is written correctly. You check it. Alright, after you have checked this, now you can use your calculator. Alright, not before this. Now you use your calculator and you write down the answer, you will get 78.14 times 10 to the power of minus 14 joules. Okay. Or, you change it to standard form. Okay, let me teach you how to do it in a, in a very effective way. This part, you change it to 7.8 7 14 what do i what have i done i need to multiply by 10 all right so this is actually this number okay so i multiply it by 10 to the power of minus 14 joules and my final answer is 7.8 814 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 13 joules. So this will be my final answer. So it depends. If you are like me, I do my mathematics, I do a lot of manual work, I'm thinking about the answer, all right, so that I do not want to make careless mistakes. But if you are using the calculator straight away, make sure you punch it a few times and then you check. Okay, check the figures and make sure there are no mistakes at all. Alright, so we have learned. Let us do a little bit of summary here. You know how to use E equals to MC square. Make sure that every symbol, every quantity, you are sure of the meaning. And make sure that the units are correctly used and written. Alright, so with this, I'm sure you have learned it and uh, revised your work. Look for some more questions. Answer the questions over and over again. And I'm sure you will do very, very well. And uh, with this, I would like to say thank you again. Thank you for joining me in my lesson. And may God bless you. Uncle Pang here.